Good morning, beautiful people. We are getting on with this vlog. I'm just gonna get ready and I'm going to be meeting my friend Lily, who you guys probably saw in the beef noodle vlog. We're going to look at an onigiri spot today and some other place that has a really cute name. I can't remember the name. I think it's like Oh My God Food or something. Yesterday was brutal because of the passing typhoon. Time to watch YouTube videos while I do my makeup. I've been told by people from here that typhoons are kind of, well like we have typhoon season here, um, but typhoons are also not like welcomed, but needed. Typhoons are needed because uh, it brings a lot of water to the island for crops and farming and stuff like that. Can I show you guys this YouTube channel that you guys have been pointing out to me? It's Haley, but actually it's her and her I think husband, and they are literally goals. They speak Chinese fluently and vlog together. <laughs> and they're also based here in Taiwan. It's interesting to see like uh, some foreign people here have YouTube channels and really prosper. I will say I really do think the online community in Taiwan is super sweet. Like the amount of supportive messages I get from people here or even just helping me is amazing. So thank you guys for that, if that's you. All ready to go. This whole outfit's from Zara. <laughs> I love that there's a garden in the middle of the buildings. So I'm here, but I cannot find the onigiri place. Found it, we're saved. It closes at 11.30. Oh, there's Lily. <laughs> so this is the menu and you cook off what you want. So Jane's going to pick Thai spicy chicken. Yes, and please. I will go with da pao zhu, which is like Thai Fried pork. Mm, sounds Spice good. We all heard Thai milk tea. Oh, Thai milk tea. Me too. <laughs> We're lucky. This place yeah. just emptied. Ah, oh, perfect timing. Thank <laughs> yeah. They're still warm. I love that. You can see the chicken inside. And these all like burgers, like western food, and damping, all different Ooh. flavors. See? We're gonna get some of those, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I have black sugar latte, Ooh. vanilla latte, sea salt, caramel latte. Oh my god, Google Translate. Sometimes the name just like very bizarre. Sometimes the name is not right. Yeah, not right. I can read like bacon, yes. cheese, yes. ham, yeah. original kimchi. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's good enough for me to survive. Yeah. Well, most of it. Maybe just bacon. bacon. So this is dumping and comes kind of like wrapped. Yeah, kind of like wrapped. Yeah, and then. Mine has egg and pork. This is the whole wheat kind. And I also got cheese added to it. And then we got this thick bread with marshmallow on top. It looks amazing. I have a small mouth. I don't know if this is gonna fit in. Uh-oh. It reminds me of a s'more. Mm. Wow, I'm in heaven. It's so cute in here. I could spend forever in a place like this. Wow. The kid stuff is cute. Oh, they have more like furniture up here. Nice, I'm in heaven. Very cute. This is the post office? This one. This is for post? Yes. Interesting. I have the pomelo treats. <laughs> I love how temples look here, they're just so colorful. Very colorful. Like a rainbow village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whew. 
I'm home now. I feel like I didn't really film so much today. Lily and I basically just ate until we dropped today. Like we went to the onigiri place and then we went to a, like a little brunch place. And then we finished off at a Japanese izakaya for the evening. And now I'm home. I had a very interesting Uber ride home. The guy who drove me home used to be a tour guide. He gave me his business card and I'm actually kind of interested in contacting him and maybe trying to get some kind of tour within Shinju. There's some places up in the mountain that I can't get to because I don't have a car and Uber won't pick you up. So I almost wonder if I can like negotiate with him um, and pay for a tour. What a good day. It feels great to make friends. Um, I was nervous initially coming here, like having to make friends again. I feel like the Taiwanese people I'm meeting are also friendly and um, they're patient with me and yeah, I'm just relieved. <laughs> anyway, I think that's about it. I need to sort out some of the garbage. Plastics go in one. When you have raw food here, it needs to go raw food. I mean like food, food that you don't eat or like when you cut vegetables and stuff, it needs to go in a separate garbage so that when you take it down to your garbage room or like the garbage trucks, um, it's meant for just like raw garbage that can decompose kind of thing. These kind of dishes too, like these little paper takeout trays, as well as plastic, all get sorted out into different garbage places downstairs. So I'm gonna do that. As well as pet bottles, they get separated to a different area. For example, plastics. Hello everyone, happy Monday. Monday, I spent the morning editing and I'm gonna post a video tonight, but I want to go to Carrefour. Lila told me about Carrefour and that it's really nice and a big grocery store to go to. It kind of reminds me of like Walmart because you know how like Walmart has everything. They have groceries, they have a home section, they have electronics. Well, Carrefour is kind of like that. And I thought it was a Taiwanese grocery store, but actually you guys told me on Instagram that it's from France. So there's only two in Shinchu and I'm gonna go to one. It's the small things that give me joy right now. Like going to a grocery store that I'm not used to, looking at foods that I'm not used to. Does that show my age? Maybe. I don't mind because uh, I enjoy it. Anyway, let's go. to the underpass. Interesting, these little rails are for pushing your bike up and down the stairs. Okay, I think I figured out. I had to go underground to go around the station. I feel like there must be an easier way to do that. You know, sometimes Google Maps just takes you on very random ways. I feel like this is a small one. So this location is really small. I'm going to head to the one in Jube. Okay, you see, this one's like massive and also two floors. I've never seen so many kinds of Pringles. Look, this is a different brand, but it looks like it's Taro, sweet potato. This one's mentaigo, so like the fish eggs. Some of it has Japanese on it, sour cream and onion. I don't know what's this one. It looks like probably spare rib. Tokyo style teriyaki. Look, this is what Shinchu is famous for. The rice noodle. See? Shinchu rice noodle. This is everything that I got. This is about 2,600 NT um, for everything. And in yen, it's about $9,400. So I'm gonna go over these lovely items with you and you guys can contrast and compare with back home. Let me know if you think it's expensive or cheap compared to your country. I'm very curious because I have this thing going over on Instagram. Hop over there because you guys sent me all your hauls from literally around the world. 
I went to two different grocery stores. I went to Carrefour, which honestly, I don't think Carrefour is, it's not like as amazing as I thought. So I'll probably, it's probably gonna be very rare that I go to Carrefour. I can't read the receipts, so I don't know how much they are. I'm sorry, but I got two lasagnas, one for each person for T and I, as well as I got crispy chicken leg filet, um, but it's the spicy kind. I had something like this in a regular and I thought it was really good. And they have duck bulky there. You just pop it in the microwave and you have at home duck bulky from Korea. I decided to get this again. This is the green onion pancake. I think it's Dumping. Dumping is a very popular Taiwanese dish here. So I got a frozen style one that you just fry up. It's really good, green onion. Dumping comes with like a really delicious sauce and I don't know how to make that sauce at home. And I tried to find a sauce at the grocery store, but honestly, I don't know. If you guys know a dumping sauce that I can just buy, let me know. For now, I'm going to try this one. I think this brand you guys told me you have in the UK and stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna try this. It's a sweet soy sauce to go on the dumping. But I wanted to say one thing I did like about Carrefour is, I feel like I'm butchering the name as well. I really liked that they have hot and ready food, like already made that you can just buy. Kind of like what they have in Japan, they have like little bentos, but instead of a bentos, like side dishes and stuff. I got this, it's a spicy edamame. Love edamame and if it's spicy, even better. It's 50 NT for this. As well as I got these kind of like little dumplings with sauce and veggie. I got a bottle of water because we're not supposed to drink the tap water. Um, we do have a special tap that filters our water, but I have to change the filter. Like I have to figure it out. I've never used one before and it's running out and I just don't know how to use it. So until then, I have a bottle of water. I got milk. <laughs> I think this is milk. Usually I get milk from somewhere else. A giant thing of Coke Zero. I got this Minute Maid juice and yes, I mean, grapes are very nice, but do you see this? This is aloe, and sometimes you can find uh, aloe in your drinks here. I don't know if you can see that. See it moving in there? It kind of reminds me of pulp in orange juice, except it's aloe, and I absolutely love it, and I don't think T's ever had it, so I'm gonna let him try it out. I just got a loaf of bread, and then some garlic bread for tonight, some penne pasta. This is like yakudo, it's almost like the, probiotic drink. I think this is a Taiwan brand, maybe. I got one Fuji apple, which was 12 NTD. I remember that. Then I got just some black ground pepper. I got my favorite yogurt here. This is so delicious. I think it's a passion fruit pineapple one and there's little jellies inside. Love this one, it's so good. Two packs of dried guava, as well as I got a very big bag of Taiwan natural dried mangoes. And then I got this sharing size of caramel M&Ms. If you guys have not had caramel M&Ms, you are truly missing out. They're so delicious. I got two things of these Taiwan potato chips. They're called pea crackers and they're spicy. I got two packs of peppers. So I got these for when I cook this tomorrow night. These are little pre-made sauces and I've made this before and it was super delicious. As well as I got an onion to add to it. I also have two mapo tofu sauces. Love mapo tofu or mapo tofu. Love this stuff. I picked up this sauce. I picked up two Japanese snacks there. He also loves the little choco pies. Got these for him too. T and I are like snackers. We love snacks. As well as I got two persimmons. Decided to try these Pringles, the hot and spicy ones. I've never seen them. I picked up this black pepper sauce. I picked up some Parmesan cheese because I can only find this in Carrefour. I can't find it anywhere else. I got some resealable seaweed for T because he can just eat this from the bag. And then one night, I'm gonna surprise T and we're gonna have skiaki. I got one, two things of pork for when I cook this sauce, as I was saying. And then I got this like big bag of Doritos. So it comes with four like mini bags inside. I wanted to try these ones. They're called American Hot Wings. They're shaped like little lightning bolts. I don't find them spicy though. The aftertaste has a little bit of a kick to it. It's more like herb spicy, not so much like hot spicy. Anyway, I have to put everything away now.
dinner is served and recently I'm using face cloths so these like microfiber cloths as napkins. I have like a pack of 30 of them so. Mmm, Alfredo sauce. I just showered and I want to pop on here and say today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. I often get asked what kind of vlogging equipment I use and yes, I do use an Olympus camera but for about 30% of my vlogs, I also use my iPhone 11 so you don't always need top quality gear to make high quality content, if you know what I mean. And Skillshare has some great courses for that. So Skillshare is an online learning community and offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, and more. Skillshare offers creative classes designed for real life and all of the circumstances that come with it. These lessons can help you stay inspired, express yourself, and introduce yourself to a community of millions. Something that stood out to me was Video on a Budget with Christopher Rhodes, who was a music video director. This class helps you learn how to create beautiful videos without breaking the bank. For someone like me who also uses their smartphone, phone to film portions of my video, this really appealed to me. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there's always new launching premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. It's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription and the first 1,000 people to use this link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. All right, thank you to Skillshare and thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, all that jazz, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!